everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy Easter! Today I am going to be sharing with you guys some Norwegian Easter traditions. First of all, the Easter word in Norwegian is påske. It's celebrated, I guess, in four different days. It starts on a Thursday and the last day is on Monday. And people normally have three days out of work, so Thursday, Friday and Monday. However, there are many, many people that take even more days out of work to travel or just to stay at home and relax during Easter vacations. Also, if you are in school, if you're a student, you'll probably have at least one week of school. So you'll have one week of vacation. As I said, many Norwegians take this opportunity to travel a little bit, some of them go to other countries, warmer countries normally, but I guess most Norwegians, if they want to travel, they will travel to the mountains because it's the last opportunity to get some snow. So to do some winter sports like cross country, which is a very beloved sport by the Norwegians, so this is the last, last time to take the opportunity to do that during the year before the winter arrives. And if the Easter is a little bit later on, like ends of April, then it gets even more difficult because probably there won't be snow. I have to say that because so many people are out of work or travel or, you know, just take vacation, Norwegian cities during Easter are like ghost towns, ghost cities, because no Norwegian will be spotted, for example, in Oslo. And a lot of tourists come here during Easter, you know, to enjoy their own vacation, but they end up not really enjoying Norway because so many things are closed. Even some museums are closed. So if you're a tourist and you're thinking to come to Norway uh, to visit like cities during Easter, maybe it's not the best time to do that because you will only see foreigners in the streets prob probably and there's, as I said, a lot of places that close. The color of Easter in Norway is yellow, so that's why today it's mostly yellow <laughs> on my background. And Norwegians like to decorate their houses, their homes, with the color yellow or with things related to Easter, like with the Easter chicks or bunnies or but mostly with yellow things. So yellow candles, yellow tablecloths, some people even change their curtains. So they change the whole theme of the house to be like Eastery theme, <laughs> which I think is quite cute. Another thing Norwegians buy during this time of year to decorate their houses are flowers and these are normally tulips or mostly are daffodils. I also normally have some Easter flowers, here they are, because they are just so pretty and I love yellow. So Norwegians will have these mostly during spring but they are like an Easter flower. I'll just leave them there. I think Norway don't really have the tradition of like the Easter bunny uh, you don't see a lot of like bunny things here during Easter. You see more like these little chicks, you know, yellow cute chicks. I think here they also hunt for the Easter eggs. So they hide the eggs in the garden and put the kids like looking for them. They also have these kind of eggs. They exist in different sizes and they are actually box. <laughs> they open up and you can put things inside. Normally you put candy inside. So you buy the box like this, empty, and you buy candy on the store, whatever candy you prefer, and you put it inside and you offer it to someone. Another thing that is quite traditional are these um, branches that kids grab from the forest or wherever and glue colorful feathers and sometimes hang little uh, Easter eggs on them uh, and just go around with them. I think this all starts in carnival here, which is not really called carnival. It's when they start to do this French thing, but I guess it keeps going until Easter because you see a lot of them in Easter time. Easter in Norway is a time for family gathering, of course. So families will gather together and have lunch together normally, but mostly like meals together. The most common food in Easter is boiled potatoes with vegetables and lamb. 
And to drink, you have Easter beer. Yes, Norwegians have a beer for every season of the year, every holiday. They are quite famous for Christmas beers. And of course, they had to have um, Easter beers as well. Norwegians in Easter time also eat a lot of oranges. Now, I'm not sure why this happens, but I've heard it's kind of like a tradition because it was during this time that the ships came from like warmer countries full of these kind of fruits that Norway of course doesn't have it doesn't exist like orange trees in Norway normally so it was during this time that the, all the oranges would come so you would eat more oranges during Easter time so they still do it today another food that it's quite a big tradition to eat during Easter is quick lunch now quick lunch is a chocolate that exists during the whole year it's quite famous and Norwegians do eat it during the whole year but I don't know why it's quite normal to eat it even more <laughs> during Easter time Quick lunch is a Norwegian chocolate, very similar to a uh, Kit Kat, but it tastes, in my opinion, much better. <laughs> I told you guys that Norwegians like to travel or to go to their cabins or to the mountains during Easter. So there's also something very traditional about Easter that is Easter traffic. So when Norwegians go away to their cabins, when they come back or when they go there, they will know it will be a lot of traffic for sure and they are already mentalized for that <laughs> there's also something called uh, poske sul which is i'm not sure if i know how to explain it but it's basically because it starts to be more sunny in norway so easter is that time where you just want to go outside and lay in the sun as long as you can and if you are in a snowy place you'll probably get kind of like a sunburn or kind of like a tan and Norwegians call that the poskesul. There's another type of trip Norwegians love to do during Easter time and that's the Haritur. This is when Norwegians go to Sweden, so cross the border to Sweden to shop a lot of things and this is food, alcohol, even clothes, a lot of different things because in Sweden things are much much cheaper so they will go to Sweden in their cars, fill up the whole car with stuff and come back to Easter celebrations with a lot of food and new things. The last thing I have to tell you is that in Easter Friday, so it's called the Good Friday or God's Friday, I'm not Holy Friday? I'm not sure. I think there's different names to it. But on Friday, on the Norwegian TV, there's no advertising. So they don't have any type of advertising unless it's a charity advertising. So only charity ads will go on the Friday before Easter, which I think is lovely. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. And if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you have more suggestions of uh, Norwegian Easter traditions, please write them down in the comments below and maybe write down some of your own Easter traditions in your own country. That would be really interesting to read. I wish you guys a lovely Easter and I will see you on my next video. Bye.